Hey guys, welcome to the LTA Movie Club. We meet every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We send in video responses, argue about it, and hopefully get an insulting nickname. Pretty awesome time. The easiest way to join the movie club is netflix.com slash phillyd. You get a month free trial of Netflix, which has tons of movies, and TV series, and a bunch of stuff that you could waste your time with, so yay! The movie we're watching today is Apollo 13, which is described as Technical trouble scuttled the Apollo 13 lunar mission in 1971, risking the lives of astronaut Jim Lovell and his crew in director Ron Howard's chronicle of this true life story, which turns a failed journey into a thrilling saga of heroism. Drifting more than 200,000 miles from Earth, the astronauts work furiously with the ground crew to avert tragedy. I can't say enough good about this movie. <laughs> I adore this movie. Not expecting to at all. In fact, I, when I first heard Apollo 13, I really thought this was going to be the same movie as Armageddon. Turns out it's not, so that works for me. This movie is fantastic. I can't say enough about this movie. Its acting is so good, I and the story is really compelling. I was a little nervous because I saw that the movie was two and a half hours. It doesn't drag at any point. I think it's completely engaging the whole time. Even when there's parts where it seems like it's going to get slow because all these happening, another problem that just, oh god, it's so awful that these these poor men had to go through all of this. There's a lot I love about this film, like, especially the open, opening scene when they're watching the moon landing on TV. I was just imagining, like, how awesome would it be to be alive during this time and actually see this happening while it's happening on TV. I mean, I'm aware that the moon landing happened, and like, I could watch as many videos as I want, but I can't, you can't replicate that feeling of being there when it happened. And like, these pe the people's expressions are so perfect. It's like they were there. It's so amazing. The same thing with the Apollo 13. Everything, all the problems were being broadcasted to everyone on TV. People were just gathered around their TVs watching this thing unfold and how terrible they must have felt and how scared because they didn't know what was going to happen. It's very compelling. It's You're on the edge of your seat the whole time. It's it's never boring. You're never sure if these guys are going to live or die, unless of course you already know the story, which I didn't. Like I said, the acting's so good in this movie, especially um, between the three astronauts. They're in this closed space and they're fighting with each other. Like essentially live with these couple guys, especially one that they don't know at all, for several days and hoping that they're going to live. If I, I think what, that's one of the things that has tension so high, that keeps it so interesting, is that like these astronauts are in this like limbo where they don't know if they should hope that they're going to live or kind of prepare themselves to die. And they don't know, and we don't know, the ground crew doesn't know until the very last second. And it's so, oh my god, the tension in this movie is fantastic. Even the ground crew, all the actors in that are really good. They're constantly getting problems thrown at them, and instead of giving up, they're like, we can find this. We can we can fit this circle peg into the square hole. We will figure it out. Or whichever way it went. Watch this movie. It's fantastic. I'm sure you'll love it. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Next movie we're watching is 8 Mile. Leave your comments below telling us what you thought about Apollo 13. And be sure to suggest future picks for movies. So that's enough about what I thought. What do you think, movie club? Bye.